you're going to record with your iPad, you need to make sure that you have enough memory to be able to do that. Um, and after kind of playing with the Christmas program video and finding out that we ran out of memory, I thought, well, I don't really know. I don't really know how much memory, you know, a video takes. So I did a little research, and so for iPad 2, um, and this is again, this can change. It depends on what's going on in the background, how much sound. There's lots of variables, but in general, it's about a gig for every 10 minutes of video that you're shooting with an iPad. Okay, these are most of you have probably 16 gig iPads, so that's a fairly sizable chunk of of memory on there. So what I what I want to really go through with you guys today is to show you a few things that's on this handout, how to free up some memory on your device. Really what you want to do is go into settings. I mean I think you all know videos take up a ton of space. Um, if you have a bunch of iBooks on there, those will take up a ton of space. Pictures take up some space, music takes up some space. Um, but the place to usually start is with is with videos and you can clear those off. That's good. Different apps take up different amounts of space, but how can you tell? Um, so if you go into settings, and you go to general settings, you can go scroll down just a little bit, and you'll see usage. <coughs> when you go into usage, it takes a minute for it to load. It's going to be right in here, this area right here, where it says storage. Use available. So I could shoot about a 30 minute video at about 3.3 gigs available. They are 16 gig iPads, but generally they all, you know, there's some operating system stuff that we really can't get away from that's in the background. Um, so you have about 12 or 13 gigs that you can kind of play with. So that tells us a little bit, that tells me I could shoot my 30 minute video and probably be just fine. This is a little bit on the top end, or the high end from kind of the research that I did, um, but about a gig of every 10 minutes. So. Um, I should be fine. Uh, but how do I know if I'm under that or I want to get rid of some stuff, how do I know? If you go into this manage storage, and it'll take a minute to load, but it'll show me the things, which apps are using what stuff in iBooks, iMovies, got some stuff in it. And so I can start to, I can use that as a place to kind of start. So, um, you know, if iBooks, if they're iBooks that I bought from the iBook store, I can delete them off my iPad and go back and get them. Um, so for me, that would be the place that I would start. For a lot of people, it's probably in your in your photos and your videos. That's probably going to be the one that's the most full. Um, you go in there with stuff that you bought from Apple or that was bought from Apple, like in the App Store or from iBooks. You can get that back. But if it's personal photos or photos like that, and you start deleting them depending on how your iPad's configured, they may or may not be gone. So there are ways that you can get them off of there. You can put them onto a computer, you can put them into Google Drive, um, you can put them into like Dropbox or some of those things. So if you need help doing that, I can certainly, I don't want to go through each of those options today, but I can certainly help you do that to free some, some space up. You can also, if you delete apps, like I said, you can get the apps back from the App Store. The issue that arises there is if there is data or anything stored within that app, that gets wiped out and you're kind of starting from 